Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Lo, the new perfume by Jimmy Choo. So this perfume launched this year, 2017, and is the newest addition to the Jimmy Choo lineup. Um, this is kind of a little bit different from the normal things that they do, but it's definitely um, still kind of follows in that realm. So, uh, do you want to say I'm back from a little bit of a hiatus that I took for a little while. Um, thank you guys for sticking through me. Um, there's a lot more stuff I want to be doing upcoming. Uh, just kind of life took what it did, and it took me a little bit to come back to you guys. Um, I do still plan on doing, hopefully, if everything goes right, a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. If not, um, if for some whatever reason I decide not to end up doing that giveaway, just due to timing and what my uh, subscriber count comes up to, I might just end up combining it into a 4,000 subscriber giveaway and making it a lot better. So, the box looks like this for Jimmy Choo Lu. Um, literally have no idea how to pronounce this name. Um, I say Lo, I say Lu, Load, I, I, no idea. Um, but looks like this and it says Jimmy Choo here and it's kind of got this frame around it. Eau de Toilette down here and it's kind of got this snake skin to it. My box is pretty beat up unfortunately. Um, but snake skin all the way and it is kind of a textured snake skin. Snake skin continues on to the top up there, and, you know, box goes like that all the way around. And then you just have all the information on the bottom. So, I did get the 90ml, which is 3 ounces, and the bottle looks like this. Um, very representational of the original Ajimi Chu bottles, um, but they did do a little bit of, like, they almost elongated it, which... I feel like another very popular fragrance, uh, Flower Bomb, they did a new fragrance this year called Flower Bomb Bloom, and they did the same thing, they kind of took out the bottle and kind of elongated it out. Um, I do have Jimmy Choo Stars, which I reviewed last year for you guys, um, so, I mean, the bottle just kind of shrunk, and it's a little bit fatter. So, the top, you have this kind of almost white, pale pink top, this brim up here, it says Jimmy Choo, um, and then kind of this pale pink liquid. And it's a very pretty fragrance. I actually really, really enjoy this. Main reason I got this fragrance, I did test it in store before I purchased it and just kind of thought about it um, before purchasing it. And then decided to go ahead and get it after the, you know, testing it out and trying it. So, top notes of this fragrance are bergamot and hibiscus. Uh, middle notes are nectarine and peony with base notes of cedarwood and musk. So, it is a very simple fragrance. It doesn't really have a whole lot of notes going on into it. Um... Which I do really, really like this, but hibiscus is one of my favorite notes in fragrances. So, I definitely wanted to try this out when I first smelled, like when I first heard about it. Um, I just didn't want to blind buy it. So, I do really, really like this one. It's very pretty. So, I definitely feel like that nectarine, even though it's in the heart, is out there. It does come through in it, the beginning. But you definitely do get kind of a watery floral from that hibiscus coming through. And the bergamot adds kind of just a citrusy opening, but it isn't overly citrusy. It's just kind of a very fresh, slightly nectarine aquatic floral opening. Um, what's good about this fragrance is the hibiscus isn't like overly done, um, and it isn't overly floral. Um, the peony is a little bit there and does kind of add a little edge to this fragrance. Um, I feel like if peony is a uh, fragrance that, or a note that normally breaks the fragrance for you. I don't feel like it would break this fragrance completely for you. Um, but I definitely feel like it's not something you should blind buy because that peony is a little bit noticeable, but not, like, over overbearing. Um, but I do really, really enjoy the peony that's in this. I personally do really enjoy peony in fragrances, but not so much if it's kind of that standout note. And I definitely feel like the hibiscus is the standout floral of this, uh, fragrance. As it really starts to dry down, though, um, you get a little bit of that cedar wood and a little bit of the musk, but honestly, the fragrance doesn't change a whole lot. It is kind of very steady throughout the entire fragrance, and you're not really getting a huge difference, which I feel like works a little bit better for some people. Because I know some people who say, oh, I really love the way my fragrance smells when I first spray it on, but then as the day goes through, they don't really like the way it smells 
as the day goes on because it settles down and certain notes come out. And I feel like this fragrance kind of stays true very much. It doesn't change a whole lot throughout the day. Uh, you definitely will get a little bit more of a woody dry down toward the end of the day. Uh, but I definitely feel like those florals do keep it kind of living all day long. Um, I would say I get about six hours, six to eight hours out of lasting power. It's just a very easy, pretty, girly fragrance. Um, definitely feel like this is perfect for spring. It definitely could be someone's uh, signature scent and definitely could be office appropriate. Um, it doesn't, it has really good sillage, but it's not like overly out there and overly done. Um, so it is a fragrance that other people around you can enjoy, but they're not going to hate you because you're wearing a ridiculous amount of fragrance. So, um, there you guys go. There's my review of Jimmy Choo Lo. Um, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A that's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Those always do help me, and thank you guys so, so much for watching.